Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakudash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that were will through the scriptures. Peace to the 144,000 and the rest of the hopeful elect. I'm the brother Kaya from GMS Indianapolis. Indianapolis uh, branch. The other two in Indiana are um, Salakia. Branch of Indiana. GMS Indianapolis, which is a branch of Indiana. The other two are GMS It Will Not Terry 2. That's in Gary. And uh, GMS Bloomington 444, which is in Bloomington. So, Lord willing, this um, lesson is edifying. I just want to speak on uh, the hurricane. What was it? Hurricane Helen or Helene or whatever. And uh, whether, you know, it happened Thursday, even Friday morning or going into Friday. Nevertheless, out, out here in Indianapolis, Friday, you know, it was... We camped indoors because of it. You know, it was uh, winds of 60 miles per hour. And then uh, a lot of the lights went out in the in the area, you know, Indianapolis, surrounding counties. So the lights goes out about Friday, right? About Friday around 8-ish. So no big deal, you know, you're kind of thinking, well, it was my thought that, okay, worst case scenario, lights would be on Saturday evening. The lights went on Saturday evening. The lights went on Sunday evening. The lights didn't come on until Monday evening. So from Friday evening to Monday evening, there was no lights. Okay? And, uh, you know, that's a long time to go without no no uh, power to go without no lights, especially when it's not your own doing, you know. You might go without, you know, light bill, whatever, uh, water bill. That's different. That's different from when all your stuff paid up and, you know, it's not on or whatever. But, um, yeah, just, just going back to it, it was just like, uh, when them lights go out, you got to have a generator, right? Then if you ain't got a generator, what you got to have candles, you got to have, uh, 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 flashlights, uh, uh, batteries, all right, yeah, ice coolers. Make sure your food don't go bad. All right, things go bump in the night. Things go dark in the night. So, uh, criminal the the criminal element is is heightened, you know. And the times that we coming in, where uh, famine, because look, the scripture speaks about famine. All right, famine is in the scriptures one hundred and four times. All right, let's see. Let's get some scriptures on it. Now, the famine is a lack of uh, not only just food and water. Just look at it as resources in general. All right, let me see what. Let me let me see. Let's look up famine in the um. First time famine is in the scriptures, Genesis twelve and ten. All right, let's see what they got for famine. Famine, hunger, raib, famine, hunger, dearth, famished. A hunger, famine, whether of individuals or of entire provinces, scarcity of grain, right. So the entire provinces is, are going to go through famines, scarcity of grain, scarcity of, of resources uh, in general, all right? Due to what? Due to the member, uh, what's going to help it? The ports closing, right? The ports closing, they say what? They got 130 days, 140 days, something like that, before the uh, the effects heighten. You know, people panic buying, right? So let me grab a scripture real quick. Second Ezra 15 and 18. It says, uh, ah, man, I'm going to start at 14. It says, woe to the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draw of nigh. Draw of nigh mean is getting closer. So these things that's happening in the earth are, are leading up to something even more major. All right. Jacob's trouble. All right which will be a time that the earth have never seen before. 
That's what we're leading up to. Where it's going to be complete and total pandemonium. Those The lights out was a, was a precursor. And how ironic, right? I was musing about this before I did this lesson. That it, it was uh, the hurricane was called, or tornado, whatever it's called, I forget. It was called Helen or Helene. And that's what we were. That's what we were at one point. Helen, we were Hellenized. To be Hellenized means to be what? To come under the Greek customs, the Greek fashion. All right. Greek language. That's how our people became Gentiles. They disregarded the laws of our fathers and they adopted the customs of the heathen. You could read about that in the Maccabees and through process of time throughout the generations. We utterly forgot who we were. Utterly. You know, just like a Mexican, first generation Mexican, he come, right? And then his ch his children, as time go on, his children forget the language, the customs, all right? The traditions, right? They start naming the future generations more uh, society society recognized normal names all right if you can <laughs> follow my my english i know it's i got messed up english but you know you see them eating taco bell you see latin tribes eating taco bell right so they was helen they was helen that's what it means to be hellenized that's what it means when the bible is talking about the gentiles who can receive salvation and then the hurricane was named helen Right. And also they say the hurricane, um, it, it damaged a lot of uh, uh, what you call those those towns. What's the first name of those towns? Sundown towns, which implies that so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans can't be there after sundown in, uh, or in danger of their life. Right. So anyway. It says, for the sword and their destruction draw of nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. Yeah, it's going to be race wars. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. And I can see how with them lights off, you can start invading one another. Because when, when lights out and resources are lacking, it makes you very keen on who aren't lacking in resources, who lights are on, who's not going without. And make you kind of, you, you know, you, and we had a guy in our neighborhood in particular, he had a generator. It was loud too. He had a generator. So no, people, people take note of that. People take note of things like that, you know? So it says, uh, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Yeah, they're not going to regard uh, the, the the political leaders. The kings and princes are now called senators, mayors, governors, presidents, prime ministers, you know, chancellors, uh, all of that, whatever. So when they get out there and try to calm everything down and say, enforce some legislation and try to get the people to trust in them and believe in them people ain't gonna regard that it ain't gonna uh franklin delano roosevelt see he had the people people regarded him that's why he was the longest sitting president he died within his third term yeah what was it a a, a, a new deal something yeah, he had the people going now the presidents and the you know the the leadership they don't got the people going you got much more people that's awoken that is all is all a game, is all theater, is all for show than than ever in recent history. It says, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So whatever they've going to set their mind to do, they're going to do. A man shall desire to go in a city, go into a city and shall not be able. Yeah, lockdown. Hell, a whole city might be quarantined. Hell, you might need a pass. You might need a traveling pass. They tried to do something like that when um when the CV first came about, right? 
All of those are uh, birthing pains until the actual delivery. See, the Bible used an example and an analogy that all of these things are contractions using the analogy of a woman giving birth. Those contractions precede the birth, but those contractions, what are these things that's happening? That's building up to the to the climax. So those lights out was a and they was out. Let me see. Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Monday. They was out a full three days. A full 72 hours plus. And wasn't no one expecting that. I wasn't expecting it. You know. It says, um, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. Yeah, he ain't going to remember the time that you gave him a boost. He was almost late to work. You took him. He got the wrong mail. He delivered you the mail. wrong package, you know. You order something from Amazon, came to their house, and they de delivered you. No, it's going to be the opposite of that. But she'll destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Right. It's going to be every man for himself. And they're going to see you got something that they need and all uh, morality, emotion, that's going to go out the window. So... With that, Lord willing, this was edifying. Let's start off with let all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakuda Shalom.